Greetings friends in the most precious name of Jesus Christ, my Lord, our Saviour. I am reading from Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 3. Commit thy works unto the Lord and thy thoughts shall be established. I flipped through several books on the subject which I had to facilitate at a recent training program, made notes, drew diagrams also. After which I rushed to google.com, slightly in doubt whether this was sufficient. And it was a vast ocean of material available there on the very subject. It overpowered my brain, choking it nearly when I could no longer take in more. Now with the four hours, each session of an hour, what and how much to squeeze in, for all was definitely important and not to be ignored at all, friends. Moreover, I had earlier too facilitated on the subject, so I had the previous material ready with me. The previous morning before I presented the first hour on the subject, the Lord spoke to me, the Holy Spirit God in and through Proverbs 16 verse 3. Yes, it was to guide me in a beautiful way exhorting that very verse which says, Commit thy works unto the Lord and thy thoughts shall be established. And it was so clear to me, I need not get bogged down by the books, neither by google.com, but simply commit the work of facilitating the subject unto the Lord. And the Lord shall and has definitely established my thoughts. He did indeed. He did. The rest is history, friends. The Lord Jesus never fails, neither his word, neither his promise. I neither took up support from books, google.com, neither my earlier material that I already had. This four days, 23rd to 26th May, shall remain in the annals of history of my training career. I give all glory to the Lord Jesus Christ, my teacher. Amen. God bless you to try this out. Shalom.